Hey, good to talk to you. It's a pleasure as always. Uh, let's start with this, what everybody's talking about in Ohio today, that terrible call last night <laughs> of the Yankees-Indians game. Uh, I don't need to rehash it. I think everybody's seen it multiple times and heard about it. When you saw it, what was the first thing that went through your mind? <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about the somersault. You can get a lot of it. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll get to the somersault in a second. <laughs> but no, you're right. Uh, oh, a horrible call. And, uh, you know, what, what's inexcusable about it is that the umpire, uh, Mike Demiro, did not check for the even check for the ball. Now, obviously the ball could have been put back into Wayne Wise's glove while he was in the stands, but the fact is it wasn't. So if he had just said, do you have the ball, you would have found out immediately no, he didn't. It wasn't a catch. I mean, you know, we didn't. He didn't even need replay, as it turned out, to know that he didn't catch it. That's the worst part of it. it it's bad enough. It would have been bad enough if he missed it. I could almost understand that if the ball had been in his glove and okay, he went in. He thought he caught it. He sees him come out with it, but he didn't come out with the ball. How mm-hmm. can you call a guy out? I, I don't understand that. Is there a way, or could there be a way that baseball could hold umpires more rec- accountable for? for oh, they, do. they they do. Now, could they hold them more accountable? Absolutely. I mean, Bob Davidson was suspended for a game this year. Very uh, unusual for that to happen. And the reason he was suspended was for the way he conducted not just one but several arguments. The last one, last straw, being one with Charlie Manuel. But uh, they, there is. Some way to do it. They do look at everything the umpires do. However, the umpires also have a strong union, not as strong as before, but still a strong union. And it's not like you're going to see, you don't see umpires who are full time major league umpires sent down. That doesn't happen. Some people would like to see that happen. That does not happen. The only problem is that even if that were to happen, is if you look at what happens when they bring up the AAA umpires on vacation replacements and things like that, they end up with more arguments with them than they do with the full-time major league umpires. Somebody has to umpire the games, and uh, there will be mistakes. And, and one of the things that happens, this wasn't really the case last night. It was partly the case last night, although we may have known it anyway later. But one of the things that happened is television technology has become so much better. Mm-hmm. They are able to slow things down so much and pinpoint the HD telecast. We get a much better picture, and we know more when calls are missed than we did before. Bang, bang calls. Now, that doesn't excuse what happened last night, but it does overall go to what happens with the Emperor. There was a play in Chicago last night in the Mets game with the Cubs where there was a pickoff play at first and ended up with Ike Davis being ejected, and they ended up with a perfect replay that showed you without doubt that the uh, runner was out. He was called safe. Now, had that happened certainly 40 years ago, even maybe 10 years ago, we might not have known that, that he was actually out. We might have known it was a close play, but not that he was out. Last night, we knew for sure the guy was out. It's a great point, because now we have these zoom lenses that get in literally so you can see the guy's shoelaces, and it's, you know, they can slow it down, they can rewind, fast forward, that the umps, you know, in real time don't have that luxury. No, they don't, and, and actually... That is one of the arguments in favor of replay. Uh, and, and even some umpires I've talked to, and they won't say it on the record, most of them, but uh, I don't know if any of them will, but the, uh, one of the things is they hate going back to the umpire's room later and seeing a replay that shows they were wrong and knowing that it's too late at that point to do anything about it. But they don't, they all don't have that opportunity right now. And... Baseball has not come up yet with the perfect system uh, that they can agree on. I think we, w- I, th- I believe that we will end up with m- much expanded use of replay. I don't know how soon it will be, but I don't. I, I mean, I, we're not talking about uh, 50 years from now. We're talking, I think, in the next few years we will see it. It's just a matter of how it's done, whether it's done on a challenge system or whether it's done with a fifth umpire or whether it's done with a central location. There's many different systems. Do you have a buzzer to the umpires on close play, or does the manager have to appeal it? Those are the questions that haven't yet been answered. Uh, 
But I think at some point they will be. They have to be. It's great insight from CBS Sports Baseball columnist Danny Nobler, our guest here on 97 won The Fan. You had a column on the Indians recently. They win even though they shouldn't and they won't. Uh, what about the Indians? What do you think? You know, <laughs> as I said in the column, the easiest thing is to say this can't continue. Uh-huh. Because you look at – it's not just the run differential. That's part of it. Uh, normally – they have, their record in one run games you would think is unsustainable, even with as even as good as their bullpen is, and and I say as good as it is, by numbers their bullpen is the worst in baseball, but the top three in their bullpen, uh, Perez, Smith, and Pastano have, all, have been outstanding, and as a result, so far the Indians basically don't lose when they're leading any time after six innings. The problem is that. Their lineup doesn't score that many runs. They're tenth in baseball runs in, in the American League, and not just in baseball. I mean, fourteen team American League and runs scored. So there aren't enough times, and probably won't be enough times that they have leads after six innings. I think they. I admire what they've done. They're a hard grinding team. They uh, they deserve to be where they are, but I have a hard time seeing how it continues. Uh, unless unless there's major changes, which I don't think they're going to be. Cincinnati Reds get the win last night. Bronson Royal had some nice control. Raldis Chapman, after several tumultuous appearances, comes in, gets the save, as you mentioned. Does the uh, does the acrobatic somersaults afterwards? Uh, you know, Dusty wasn't happy. A couple of the players told him to kind of dial it down. What do you think? I had no problem with it. I mean, look, it, 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 there are guys that dance on the mound after saves. Yeah. Really, was what he did any worse? I saw that Dusty said today that he's been told about it and it won't ever happen again. I, I guess it's the team's prerogative. If they don't want to see it, they can tell him not to do it. I, I, I have a hard time getting all that upset about it. I thought the funniest thing was, I, and I saw this on Twitter and went back and listened to it just to make sure, and sure enough, Marty Brenneman was so stunned by the somersault that he forgot to say, and this one belongs to the Reds. Yes. <laughs> Talking again to Danny Nobler, CBS Sports baseball columnist. Uh, what about the Reds? Are, are they for real, not just in the Central, but you know, in the National League? Well, they're for real. Now, that doesn't mean they're uh, certain to win the National League. The National League at this point really is wide open. I, the American League may, you might be able to might say that too. But there's no team in, in the National League that you say, wow, there's no way anyone's going to beat them. And the funny thing is, the last couple of years, we might have said that about the Phillies, and somebody did beat them both years. Uh, so, uh, so so maybe that doesn't matter that we don't say that. But the Reds are a team, look, they were picked by a lot of people to win the division this year. I didn't pick them, but I, but I picked them second and thought they had a real chance of winning the division. And, uh, and they still are in that same position. There's three teams in that division that really are very good. And, and the Pirates have played better than people expected them to. I don't know if they can continue without changes. But, and the Brewers, because in some parts because of injuries, have played worse than some people expected. They're going to have to do a lot to get back into the race. But the, the Reds and the Cardinals, without doubt, both have teams that are capable of winning. And the Cardinals, it looks like maybe there's some chance they're going to get Chris Carpenter back. I, I, you know, it's been... It, it's hard to say he's missed all the time already, but I know he's had to, he had to shut it down again. But wasn't not to shut it down, but wasn't able to throw. But he there's some idea that he might be on his way back, which would be a big boost for them. But they've had plenty of injuries. The Reds have issues, as we said going into the season. Those teams all have issues. It's which one does the best at overcoming their issues. To this point in the season, the Reds have done the best of those teams at doing it. Finally, CC Sabathia to the uh, DL. I would think yeah. maybe a month ago, more impact. Obviously, you lose a guy of that caliber, it's going to hurt. But you know, Phil Hughes is pitching well lately. How, how much of an impact? What does the loss mean of Sabathia for the Yankees? Well, if they lost him for a long time, it would mean a ton. And the, the word today was that he's supposed to miss two starts. So, uh, given where the Yankees are, uh, given the way the rest of the rotation has pitched, I wouldn't say it's a gigantic impact that he doesn't make two starts. Now, if he were gone for any length of time, if if they were facing something like uh, what we've seen with with the uh, Rangers, where their rotation has been just uh, shredded by injuries, or certainly the Blue Jays, where they've lost at different times four starters to injuries, that would be a much, much bigger impact. Uh, 
But but if it's just if it ends up being two starts, I think the Yankees can handle it just fine. Danny Nobler, CBS Sports baseball columnist. Appreciate it as always, Danny. Thanks so much. We'll do it again soon. Okay, good talking to you.